non-starchy vegetable. We, I mentioned that before. Vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. A lot fewer calories, much more nutrients. Okay, limiting alcohol consumption to less than seven drinks per week. Okay, try to sip and pace. So to give you an idea, moderate drinking is considered one drink a day for women and two drinks a day for men. Men have a little bit more body water that allow them to be able to produce the enzyme that can um, filter the body of that alcohol a little bit easier. I know another thing men have a little easier, ladies. I'm sorry. But um, it's you can't save all your drinks for the weekend, okay? So just being aware of, you know, trying to really be, um, watch how many drinks you're consuming in a day. Sharing desserts. If you do get dessert, maybe you share it um, with somebody or with multiple people. I know that's a little scary right now with COVID, but maybe see if they can cut up different portions of it ahead of time. Um, if you are ordering dessert, maybe you do a little bit of a lighter meal. Um, if we're getting a giant jalapeno popper burger and fries and then we're getting dessert too, you know, that's going to really send us over the edge on our calories. So really be aware of um, kind of how you want to divvy that out. Um, you can splurge on the dessert. This is something that I like to do. Okay, I get a really nice quinoa bowl. It's a very balanced meal. I ordered vegetables as my side and then my fiance wants dessert. So I'll have a little bit of that too, but I know that I really got all the nutrients I needed in that meal and I actually enjoyed it too. Um, I think when I went out the other day, I got shrimp on my quinoa bowl. So that's something you can always do. Um, and if you guys are looking for restaurants that have a little bit of healthier options, I think I have them listed below and you can also email call me if you want any more details. Um, on vacation, so let's say we're on vacation. We want to utilize the workout facility and spend plenty of time walking on the beach or hiking, whatever we're doing. Um, buy foods for the hotel room such as a blender bottle for protein powder, maybe we have oats or Almond milk, regular milk, fruit, frozen vegetables, Greek yogurt, bagged or canned salmon or tuna, microwave sweet potatoes, eggs. Those are all going to be cheap and will keep well in the hotel refrigerators. Um, make sure that you, you know, that's a great way to save money too. You don't want to be eating out every meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So just be aware of that. Utilizing the hotel fridge and microwave. There might be a Whole Foods or other stores nearby, hot foods, bar. I know Whole Foods a little more expensive, but I know sometimes those are what's a little bit closer if you're like in the city, like Chicago or something like that. Um, if you're going to be at like a work thing or a buffet, try to go light on casseroles and cheesy dishes and make sure that we continue to track your intake. Um, eating lots of protein and trying to keep your carb intake between, depending on your allotment, you know, we want at least 130 probably don't need much more than 200, especially women. Um, those of you that have a little bit more athletic goals, that might look a little different for you. But um, if you're tracking in my fitness pal, you should know exactly what I'm talking about in terms of how many, how much protein, how many calories, how many grams of protein we're getting on a daily basis. And if you want to know more about tracking, definitely reach out to me too. That is a great tool for success with weight loss and staying healthy. I recommend it for my athletes too, so they know what they're getting. Um, consider downloading a meditation app for when you feel late night cravings coming on, deep breathing, or go to bed. A lot of times when we're hungry, it's just time to go to bed. If we're getting hungry past 9, 10 o'clock, you can probably stand to sleep. Um, so eating out options, Subway, 6-inch flatbread. Um, you could do on a wheat sandwich or double meat. You can add lots of vegetables. They now have the protein bowls, so you don't even need to worry about the carbohydrates. So that is an awesome, awesome option. Acapulco, the Pollo, California. Um, I don't mind their uh, soup, their chicken soup either, but just make sure that you um, you take leftovers. You should have plenty for leftovers. They give you quite a bit. Okay, so um, those are some good things if you are wanting to eat local at Acapulco. Let's say we're going to B-dubs, a garden salad, adding grilled chicken, asking for dressing on the side is going to be good. Let's say we're going into Skyline, Greek salad with dressing on the side and grilled chicken is good. If we want roll on in, you know, we can do kale salad with a little bit of brown rice, double protein, adding lots of vegetables, sriracha. We could maybe add a little bit of sesame oil, make it guac as well, make sure that you're getting that on the side. 
um, or you're watching the portion to which they're serving. I do have their menu if you want to look. Malploy is another Thai restaurant downtown. Their stir fry options with brown rice and protein of choice are great. Um, another one I wanted to add is BJ's. Let's see. And I hate the bulleting here. The BJ's Brew House. So we'll see these. I think there's one in Brookwood, one in Austin Landing. These They have some really good options, and I particularly like their Enlightened Menu. These are going to be a little bit lower calorie, and they'll, that was like the quinoa bowl I was talking about that I got. Some cauliflower rice options. They even have bison burgers. BJ's is a great place that I think everyone enjoys because you, it's a bar setting. You can watch games. There's a lot of bar food, so if someone's like, oh, I don't want to eat healthy, you'll be just fine to um, go there, and then you could cho choose your healthy options. If you do look to splurge on desserts, um, there are great, great dessert options, and you can drink as well. Just, you know, follow the um, information I gave you. Make sure that we're following the 80-20 rule once again. Um, I am going to post this so that you have this for your reference. Um, just to kind of sum up, really make sure that you're looking at the menus ahead of time, checking out the nutrition, um, aiming for a lot of protein and vegetables on our plates. Don't be afraid to ask waiters or anyone on the phone about the nutrition. It is their job to serve you. Don't be afraid to make substitutions, getting our fats on the side and um, just making sure that we are limiting alcohol and really just living for a balance. Um, I hope that was helpful for you all, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.